Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this video tutorial is going to show you how to format tables and tables are just spreadsheets that you can create in AutoCAD so that you can lay out data in an organized uh, manner and help people that you know are trying to read the drawing get all the information quicker and easier than they might be able to otherwise and the beauty of using a CAD program versus hand drawing is that you can take information that's in the drawing and extract it and put it into a table. So I've got all these computers with various attributes from a previous tutorial we did. And later on in this video I'll show you how you can take all this data from all these computers and lay it out in a nice table. So let's just get started. I'm just going to start the table command. And uh, you can see there's a few in here. And I'm just going to click on one. And you can see that formatting is a little different on each one. And this is the standard one that will be uh, what you'll see probably in your uh, version of AutoCAD if you haven't already created one. So from there you can change uh, your column width, height, you know, all this uh, standard stuff, number of columns. Let's just go with three for now and two data rows. And to get started, we just click on this button, the Launch Table Style Dialog button, and we're good to go. So this gives me a list of everything I have right now, but I want to create a new one from scratch. So I'll just click New and we're just going to call this one uh, new table format and I'm going to base it off of the standard default table style and press continue so what I've got here is really just one area I need to concentrate on for the most part um, the only thing on this side is whether my table goes up from the bottom it goes title, header, data, or down from the top, which is what the uh, majority of them will do. So with that, what I'm going to do is look on this side now, and you can see that under cell styles, I've got three main categories. I've got title, header, and data. And type, it's pretty self-explanatory here. And so if I start with title, this is going to be right on the top here this will be the name of my table and you can see I can adjust the general settings text settings and the borders so here I'm gonna leave it pretty much the same I'm just gonna put the uh, fill color to uh, let's say cyan you can see how that's already uh, showing me in the preview my text I've defined textiles here so I've got table, title, text, and if I haven't done that, I can just click here and create a new text style if that's what I need to do. So you can also preview and find out which one is which in case you haven't named them efficiently. So I'll cancel out of here, but that's where you would create more text styles if you need them. And the color, I'm just going to go with uh, black and keep the height default and my borders and I'm just going to change this to be a little bit uh, thicker give it a double line why not and that's my title sorted out next I'll go to the header and the same thing I'll go I'll use the same fill color and I'm going to use my header text and make it black also and my border will be 0.3 and uh, the last thing I'll do is just go into my data and format that to be uh, justification will be middle left and you'll see the preview shows it changing instantly and my change my text style and I'll just leave the border as is so it's pretty straightforward. You're just defining three different sections three different ways. So with everything looking kind of like I want it to, I can just press OK. 
and there's my new table format and hit close so now I'm back here in my insert table dialog box which is where we started and I'm just going to insert one just so you can see how it looks and I'm gonna press OK and you can see it's attached to my cursor if I zoom right in and right away it's asking so I'll go uh, sample title and call this heading 1 heading 2 etc 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 and data 1 data 2 data 5 etc etc and there's my table inserted ready to go and I can just go in and click here and manually add things in anytime I want to uh, if I uh, click on it and right click you can see there's a lot of different uh, options I can go in change the borders alignment whatever I need to do so that's pretty straightforward stuff um, if you've used any kind of uh, software before you probably come across very similar controls on formatting so I'm going to erase that and I'm going to start a new one table command and I'm going to start instead of from an empty table I'm going to start from object data in the drawing data extraction so you can see this is all grayed out now because that's going to depend upon what I do next so I'm going to create a new data extraction and with that it brings up this dialog box you can just create a new one I'll just call this new table and what this does is it saves it out as a text file and I want to just leave this as the default include the current drawing I can include more drawings if I want I can add a whole folder of drawings All right, I'm just going to use this one now you can see it lists everything here I've got lines leaders polylines but I just want to see the blocks so display blocks only and there's my one block the computer now I obviously don't really need all of this so all I'm just gonna uncheck everything but attribute and so you can see I've got five attributes in the block so I just need to uh, make sure that's all set and ready to go and hit next and now I can still work on it I can drag and drop you can see I brought the station number over the block name and uh, I can right click on any of these I'm just gonna hide that column I don't need to know what the block name is and I can either combine the identical rows or each one will be listed individually so there's quite a few ways of changing your display up until this point right here even so I'm just gonna hit next and I'm going to insert the data extraction into the drawing I could also output it to an Excel file or a text file or something so that perhaps somebody needs a inventory of all the computers and they don't have AutoCAD they I can just export it and print it out for them so it's very powerful what you can do with this so the last thing I've got is uh, my new table format there it is just the way I did it and I'm going to create a title call it computers in computer room and everything's good to go and finish and now here's my table so you can see right there computers in computer room everything's listed everything's organized and uh, really easy to work with now the beauty of this is that if something changes see we can say this one here is a 2.2 gigahertz processor I'm gonna change this to a 4.2 we just got an upgrade so we'll change that 
Now if I go back here, you'll see there's nothing here with a 4.2 gigahertz processor. But if I right click and go to, uh, where is it? Go to update table data links. You can see right away it's added another row and there's my 4.2 gigahertz processor added to the list. So that's just some of the power of tables and it's uh, very easy to do. Um, something that's, you know, if you're using blocks you're going to come across at some point, you know, extracting attributes. You can do things like the locations uh, based on, you know, where their blocks are inserted. There's so much you can do with this. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. This has been Art at MyCADSite.com and uh, I've got a full free AutoCAD course. I will take you from the very basics of what the screen looks like and walk you right through AutoCAD up to 3D rendering and cool stuff like data extraction. So check it out, mycadsite.com. Thanks for watching.